hello 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 welcome to another episode of uh, wicket fishing uh this is just uh two days after my last video uh it was raining very badly here it was basically due to a, a cyclone that hit uh, uh, the southern kerala and then it went on to the northern side of kerala so this is just two days after uh, i put my last video and you guys know the level of water where it was now i'm going to show you the same pond and how or where the water level is just after two days of uh, rain so here it is it is that same pond okay i'll i'll probably go to the same location maybe not under the water <laughs> i'll uh, stand near the higher ground and i'll show you the pond so here we are the pond is almost full i would say uh, half of the pond is full uh, like i said you know the water level comes till here now this is the pump house it comes till here you, you can see the marking here so uh, the date today is uh, may 18th so uh, hopefully uh, by 1st uh, of june the monsoon is starting in kerala and i'm sure this time it is it's going to overflow it's going to overflow the entire this area so uh that's why i said this is just half full i was oh i can see a snake at there i don't know whether you guys can see it he just went down it came up to breathe so i was you can see this pillar there was one more pillar down there so i was standing there actually and this is where uh, the tortoise you know it uh, it jumped into the water it, it just uh, was released down there okay so i've come here again i'm not sure if i'll get any fish today because you know the water level has increased and you know, the 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 only fishes that was there in the spawn it would have spread across the entire area so let me try uh, something and if i get one i'll probably share and close the video for the day i don't know if you guys can see the snake heads i'll just zoom in so you can see them i can see about 3 4 here and there's a big one here see that big one it just went under the water so i'm going to try catching these guys let's oh see there's another big one come here so i'm going to try these guys let's see if we can get some the bait i'm going to use is earthworms so i'm going to use this big guy i have casted the uh, live bait the earthworms uh, Let's see if we can get hooked. I think uh, there is a mating activity that is happening. Uh, the larger ones that you see is the uh, female, and the, the smaller ones are the males. So it's basically the female is trying to choose the male. Okay. So the camera is not able to capture the fishes. So probably I'm standing against the light. Let me try uh, capturing it from another angle. Let me show you another giant. Uh, it is just under that the water pipe. And there's one behind it too. Wow! My baits are getting wasted. These guys are not eating any of the baits that I'm putting. It looks like you know the male and female are filled with mojo, so that they can mate and you know the, the eggs hatch. And they have to. They they like dedicated parents. You know they look after the. of springs the fries basically and uh, once the water level increases there are similar ponds 
across all the houses here so these ponds are interconnected and then finally it gets into the paddy field so these guys you know they are like in a hurry to get their hot springs on and then and then uh, you know they get get into these other ponds and then connected to the outside uh, paddy fields so once that happens you know these guys uh, will get into the fields so they get abundance of food there and then the next uh, rain that comes in uh, october november so once the water refills again so these guys come back to the same pond so uh, that is the plan for these guys so uh, i'm going to try again to uh, bait so here i have uh, this is the uh, earthworm that i have i'll probably put it again this is not the right uh, bait basically they say if you have a cockroach you put them these guys will attack so but i'm i'm just going to try uh, only with the earthworms because i am scared of cockroaches <laughs> so uh let me put it again i'll probably stay here for another hour uh, because it's only 12 and then by noon i need to get back so let's see what happens here is a giant pair i think they have coupled up you know for the spawning and here comes another one just trying to check on it so it's a three big ones wonder who is male and who is female in it but the one which is far on the right that is male for sure Okay. And the male comes and wants the other fellow. Don't you dare! Now all three are looking at me. Okay, the 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 female is on the extreme left. You can see, guys. That's the big one. So finally, guys, I got a. a it has a nasty uh, spikes uh, it, it 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 stung me uh, the other day so uh, i i got this one uh, uh, the snake snake heads are of no ch uh, chance uh, this is a cat snake yes uh, this is uh, locally called as uh, the kadu or uh, muyu or musu that it's it's, it's uh, it's good to uh, eat so uh, you fry them it, it's like one of the best uh, that you can get so uh, i am uh, good for the day i have a good blood a droplet on my glasses uh, a man is uh, bleeding and uh, i'm going to put him into uh, sleep very soon so that you know uh, he need not suffer again so that's it for another episode guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i only got this and my dinner is ready all right i see you after thanks for watching guys bye bye